Hello, beautiful souls, and happy new moon. I wasn't originally planning on doing this session since I just did an Equinox one, but in typical Aries energy fashion, I got the strong intuition to do this and do it now. And so I listened. For anybody who might be new to my videos, I'm an energy channel. And for this session, I'm going to be calling upon this Aries new moon energy. So specifically channeling this type of energy through me into this session. And if you were open and receptive to receive it, you will receive it in a way that's in alignment with you, what you need and desire at this time, and with your intentions. Okay, so if you are open and receptive to receive this energy activation, just say yes. I'm going to connect to your energy now, begin the energy channeling. I have some messages that are coming through and then we're going to go through a portal. As I'm taking a minute to connect to your energy, I invite you to set intentions for yourself. Really bring to mind these new energies that you feel called and ready to ground in to your being, your experiences, your reality in this world. Because this energy today is really giving us a major energetic boost to break through any residual limitations our old energy to ground these in. So I know I always invite you to set intentions, but that is because we are conscious creators. And the more we step into that embodiment of being a conscious creator, the more we can ground in these divine energies into this earth. So without holding yourself back, really let yourself go there, feel the new, and consciously set the intentions that you have for yourself at this time. I'll let you know once we're connected and we'll go through the rest of the process. We are now connected energetically and I'm calling upon this Aries new moon energy to channel through me into you. Feel this energy activating you on every level. Feel this energy activating the intentions that you hold for yourself, for this world. Just allow yourself to take this moment and fully receive this energy being given to you at this time. Well, this energy is all about 
newness. It's about birth, as Aries is the baby of the zodiac. And as I was contemplating this new moon, I got a metaphor of where we are right now. And since this is often associated with birthing something into reality as the Aries is the baby, um, collectively, I got the image of um, the pregnancy and having a child. And it all starts with conception, the conception of new energy, the conception of an idea of a heart's desire. And then that is nurtured, it, it gestates and it grows and it forms. And then it's time to be birthed. And there's the labor process. And that's where I feel we've been through recently is the labor and now with this new season and the equinox and all this cosmic energy it's time for that final push and the birth and so this new moon is that final push to birth so much newness <laughs> into this world As a Aries moon and rising myself, if you tell me that I cannot do something, that will make me just, that will make me determined to do it. And it's not just others telling me I can't do something or something's impossible, it's my own programming. And I even have this picture on my wall with a quote Excuse me, the quote that I want to read to you, and that is, risk more than others think is safe, care more than others think is wise, dream more than others think is practical, and expect more than others think is possible. And to me, that is very much this new moon Aries energy. My mom sent me a video, an astrology video, a link it below, and she gave two examples of Aries. The first example was the first person to run the four minute mile. The second person was Dr. Joe Dispenza. The first person to run the four minute mile, if you don't know this story, everybody said it was impossible. You couldn't do it. And this person did it. And after that person broke the four minute mile, and tons of other people did but they needed that first person to break it to create the collective belief that it could be done that's this new moon Aries energy we are all of us are embodying new energy and there will be many times where you feel called to do something that's been that's very different or very new to how you have always done things but you feel called to do it and maybe others tell you it's impossible maybe your old programming tells you it's impossible but your heart and your soul is just leading you in this direction that is you breaking your own four minute mile because once you break through it then that energy expands into the conscious collective and as humanity our consciousness expands it expands because of each one of us breaking through our own limitations and barriers the second aries that was mentioned in the video was dr joe dispenza who broke his back in a cycling accident and was told he'd never walk again and he healed himself using his mind. And now he's the Dr. Joe Dispenza that we all know who has studied um, these ideas extensively, um, researched them scientifically and teaches them. 
But if it, he did not break through his own limitations of everybody telling him he couldn't do something, but then within his soul said, I, I can, I can and I will, he broke through first his own limitations and his own experience and then expanded it and has shifted the collective consciousness with his teachings. That's the energy coming through. That's the energy being channeled to you now. So I want to take you through this portal and help you expand past the point where you have before. Just a, a little further for some and maybe others, you just want to completely dive in. But first, I want to give you the energy to do so. Bring your intentions to mind. Feel them within your being. Who are you truly? Who is your limitless self? Feel that and visualize that now. What are some old identities or beliefs you held about yourself that you know are not true? Bring those to the top of your mind. And we are channeling all of the energy that you need now to bust through those, to dissolve them back into light. Feel your energy growing and growing. Feel yourself being the embodiment of who you truly are. And as your light expands, those old limitations, beliefs, and self-concepts cannot hold you back or restrict you. Your light just busts through all of them. Feel your true power, your true divinity, your infinite potential. And as you are growing and expanding and really tuning in to this Aries energy, which is masculine, Archangel Gabriel is coming through. Archangel Gabriel to me has equal balance of masculine and feminine energy. And Gabriel will, will present to me as masculine or feminine, depending on what's needed at the time. So as you're embodying and being activated, by this strong Aries masculine energy, Archangel Gabriel is coming through as the divine feminine and holding space, creating this balance. So as you grow and expand and break through barriers, you're doing so in the energy of love and safety and comfort You are safe to grow and become as big as you want to. And Archangel Gabriel is wrapping you up in this divine feminine energy, giving you the biggest hug, holding space for you as you do so now.
This is all in preparation for that final push to go through this portal. And I have just one more little story to share that goes along with this. And then we're going to break through this portal. And that is recently my sister had a beautiful baby. When she first went into labor, I wasn't with her then. I, I got to be with her later on in the process, but I began to send her distant Reiki. And I could feel her solar plexus was on fire. So much activity in her solar plexus. And the energy healer, natural instinct within me wanted to balance that and I got the strong intuition oh no no she needs every bit of that for what she's about to go through and that's what I'm feeling so I'm going to place one hand upon your solar plexus and also one hand upon your heart and we're amping up and channeling this Aries energy giving you everything you need to push through any of those final barriers. And you are ready. In front of you now, you see a portal. This portal is going to take you into the new. It's going to take you beyond what you have currently experienced. It's going to take you beyond what you have believed you could experience, who you believed you could be. But there's one barrier between you and this portal. For some of you, this might seem like a big barrier. For others, it might be just a really little energetic sheet. What does this barrier look like for you? It is filled with your limitations, your past beliefs, the past conscious collective beliefs and the conditioning in the old energy. Give this barrier a visual in your mind. And now I want you to break through it with your belief. I want you to stand strong in who you are, believing in all of your intentions, believing in your infinite potential, believing in your heart's desires, believing that metaphorically you will break this four minute mile. And you see this barrier weakening. This energy is beginning to dissipate. And now I want you to believe that it will be easy to break through this. That once, what has once stopped you, cannot stop you any longer. Sink so deeply into your belief of this, into your divine power. And now however you want to break through it, maybe you do it with your words, your mind, the energy of your heart or your solar plexus. Maybe you just run through it. I want you to break through this last barrier now. And you enter the portal. And you're walking through the portal and you are being downloaded by the light codes and activated even further. New cosmic energy, new percep perceptions and perspectives are entering your energetic field, being downloaded into your consciousness through this portal. upgrade of your energetic systems 
of your mind, of your innate abilities that you are aware of or not yet aware of are all being activated now, amplified now. And you walk all the way through this portal to the other side, born anew. And in your imagination, I want you to have fun and play. And I want you to visualize yourself as the superhero you would like to be. With infinite power, with infinite ability. Just in your mind's eye, walk throughout your reality as a superhero doing what you feel called to do, what you want to do with no limitation. And I invite you to really have fun with this. And everything that you're imagining, we're activating that energy within you. Don't hold yourself back. I mean, really go there. You're a superhero. This is your reality. What are you doing? What are you bringing into this world that is brand new? that others once could never believe, but you have just brought it into this world. What is that? How do you feel? How does the world respond to you? What have you created for yourself in this world? Now I want you to drop all visuals as we allow everything that you just imagined to be activated within your being. If you do not have your palms turned up, turn your palms up and receive the spinal activation and integration of this session. We are going to ground this energy in now. Just imagine that your feet are on the earth. All of that energy is now being grounded into the earth, growing down as roots. The fire energy of Aries that has been activated is combined with the grounded energy of the earth. Which makes the fire burn even brighter. But in a way that feels safe and contained. It's not just fire that's being spouted everywhere. It's fire that is expansive, that is alchemizing, that is transformative. That is what's being grounded in through you.
and begin to slowly bring yourself back into your body in this here and now moment. Connecting to your breath. And we're just calling once again in that divine feminine energy to bring balance back within you. And I have now disconnected from this energy channeling. So be it, and so it is. Let's take a moment to give thanks. Thank you to this cosmic energy. Thank you to Archangel Gabriel. And thank you to you and everyone who listened to this activation. So be it, and so it is. Thank you for listening to this. I have extensive healings and programs linked below. If you haven't listened to the Equinox channeling, then I would invite you to do so. I feel it complements this um, on my channel. And I'll talk with you next time. Much love.